Hello everyone and welcome back to Goblin Nation. Today I want to talk to you about how to set your metahuman, the different method of how to set your metahuman mocap animation on the face plus head rotation to a mocap of the body that you want to attach them to. Now, little caveat on this method, for some log reason, the animation doesn't come as clean as you would like it to be, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So let's start and not waste any time. First thing, I want to create a sequencer to put our dismo into the sequence. I'll call it head rot sequence. Point to it. And I'll select gizmo and add a gizmo into the sequencer. It is populated and I will not need the animation tab, so I will get rid of it so we'll have more real estate on the screen. Get rid of the control rigs. And now when I select the goblin, I can basically give him body animation and face animation. Well, let's start with face. Let's give him an animation that I had created for goblin fall loop rotation on or off. Because I want to give him animation first of the body of the fall and I want it to be attached with the head, you can see that there is animation on the face but not on the rotation of the head. So if I hover above it, I can see that this one has 475 frames. And right now our range is up to 150. In this case, I'm going to double click on the numbers here and I'm going to do 475. So it will take me to the last frame. And now I will set the range to be exactly until then. And you can see how the animation looks uh, until the end of the range. Nice. Now I will add animation to the goblin's body. Then if I look for the loop as well, I will look for the full loop that we get from the man with the mannequin. And now we can see that the face is animated, the head is not, and the body is animated. I'm just now uh, taking the range of the uh, loop idle loop animation to go all the way until the end of the facial animation. And this is fine. This is cool if you want uh, a head animation that would take the animation from the body and uh, not having um, rotation on the head like you had captured. This is fine. You are done with this and some people would like to use it that way and then add animation manually afterwards with animation layer, which works as well. But if you do want to keep the animation that you have captured, then you might need to do something else. Now, what I mean by that is if I change this head animation to the one with the head rotation, if I look for loop, and I will check the animation rotation on, and I play it, you will see that there is head rotation and the body is connected to the head but not really. It's not quite there. Now, if I select the face, go to details and I'll set a key on the use animation blueprint. And now if I change this to custom mode, you will see how the animation looks like. You see all the rotations that the head has. And you can see how it's, of course, not attached. But we do want to keep the head rotation and the scope of the animation of the face. So I'll take it back now to little print. And, of course, don't forget that we do have the head rotation as well. It's on. If I take it back now to off, I want you to see how wide or how much the goblin opens his mouth because this would come in handy later on so that I can prove to you or show you 
what I mean by the scope of animation changes. But now if I want to keep the animation of the head, of the rotation of the head, I'm going to need to do something with the blueprint of the face. To do so, what I need to do is I need to select the face from the in the sequencer, and then I would search for it in the content browser. There it is. Double click on it, and there you go. This is the blueprint of the head of our goblin. Now, you need to go to AnimGraph, not the event graph. You need to go into AnimGraph, and then look for a node that looks like this, and the name is Layered Blend Per Bone. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to need to add a blend mode to the skeleton of the head so that Unreal will blend between the animation of the bone of the head that comes from the capture and the animation of the um, metahuman that comes from the body. And to do it, it's not a problem at all. We're going to have to go first to the skeleton mode right here. So I'll click on that. And here we can see all the joints that are connected or attached or part of this facial rig. You can see that there's a lot of them. But we, it doesn't scare us. Don't forget, in Unreal, you can search for everything that is available. So if you go to the cog reel and press on the uh, arrow down, there's a thing here called Blend Profiles. I'll go here and I'll add Blend Mask. That's what we're looking for. And I will name it Head Rot for Rotation. I hit Enter. And then it shows us that it gave everything uh, zero. Then just to make sure, I'm going to select the root, right click, and check the recursively set blend scale to zero. So now I know for sure that everything is at zero. Next thing, I'm going to look for the head. So it shows me where the head joint is. And now I will set this to one. When I'm done, I'm going to do save all. So now we basically created a little node that is a blend mask. So if I go here, you can see it's called head rotation, blend mask, which is good. I saved it all and I will go back to my blueprint right here. And here we have blend mode, branch filter. I will change it to blend mask. When I send it to Blend Mask, it opens up Blend Mask here and shows us a list of Blend Masks that we have available. Drop it down and I'll select the Head Rot. And here, the Curve Blend option, I will change it from Override to Normalize by Weights. And I will compile the new blueprint. Don't forget to compile. Now, if you get an error, that means that you missed something from the steps. Please look at watch again and see what else you can do. And I will save all. I got no errors on the compiler and it finished. So now what you're hoping for is when you had the animation that it would work flawlessly. Unfortunately, it doesn't because we do need to do something else. Let me just change it to rotation on. And you can see that it's not really doing what I want it to do. For that, we need to do something else. Because we created the blend mask, what I need to do now is basically, let me save this, what I need to do now is basically re-export the animation again. So in, in a different way, in a small different way, I know that it's recruiting, but that's the only way that I realized how to do it and found out how to do it after testing it for our awareness. And I hope that Epic Games will change all this so that it will be so easy. So I'll go to the identity and I will go back to the performance that I had created the animation for. If I hit play, you can see that there's head movement and the face is moving and it is beautiful. So what you need to do is you need to go down to the override visualization and you need because we want to export it again. Instead of transform track, 
I will change it to control rig. And now I will export level sequence, not export animation. I will export X level sequence. And then I will go into sequences. And here I will call it a fixed blend mask sequence. And I will save it. I will keep it as a default create. Now I will open up the new level sequencer. Then you go. We have our new level sequencer. You can see that this is an archetype face. Let's change this to our goblin so that we can see the goblin face. And this is nice. So now that we have the goblin face, what we did, we basically retargeted the animation to our character, Gizmo. And now what I can do is finally export this animation sequence and I will go into the animations into Goblination and here I will call it Goblin because I want to make sure that I even it will be easier for me to approach it. Fixed Head Rot Land Mask Okay and export you can open this and see what is exporting and export to animations is done let's just open and check what it looks like and we have head rotation and we have our facial animation right here so now i will just save this as is now we'll close it and go back to our sequencer which was this one. You zoom out, just to make sure that everything is right here. And I'll hit play. And right now he's got no head rotation. But I need to change the animation here. So let me get rid of it and set a new one. Let's look for Goblin and call it and fix head rot blend mask and now I could see that the head already started rotating and you can see but now we have the animation from uh, the idle plus we have head rotation on our goblin you can see that the head rotates nice let me save this let me change the full do just normal idle. Go. We can see that in the normal idle, the head is rotating. There is head rotation and there is facial animation attached to our goblin, our meta human character. Now, one thing I want you to notice is the amount of animation or the scope of the animation that we are getting now is quite different than the initial animation that we had. For some reason, it looks like it gets about 30 to 50% less scope. Hit subscribe. What it's doing with the face. And I'll show you a comparison. Look at this comparison. Look at the scope of how much he opens and changes his facial expression compared to what happens when we use the blend mask. For some reason, we lose so much detail in the animation. You can see how far he opened his mouth on the blend mask while how much he opened his mouth uh, without the blend mask, which is the, the raw data from the motion capture. So this is a little caveat from this method. And uh, I think that you would make your own decision if you want to keep it that way, or if you want to actually use the first method that I'd shown you, which was adding animation layer and um, checking the controllers off the head and the neck. If you haven't watched this, hit the link up above to watch it right now and uh, i think that's all i have for you guys for now and until the next time
Goblin Nation.